Good day, class. Yeah, welcome back to our mathematics class. Today is going to be the continuation of angles of elevation and depression. Today, we want to move into how to calculate the distance in angles of elevation and depression. Example one. From two points A and B, 43 meters apart, and on the same horizontal line with the foot C of an electric pole, the angles of elevation of the top of the pole are 24 degrees and 37 degrees, respectively. Find the height of the pole. Now, looking at this question, we have to inter now let's interpret this question. From two points A and B, let's say we have point A, then point B. These two points, they are 43 meters apart. 43 meter apart. And on the same horizontal line with the foot C of an electric pole. Let's assume we have an electric pole somewhere here. And the foot of this pole is C. So the A and B are on the same horizontal line with this foot, the foot here, C. So this is the electric pole on its own, standing alone. Now, the angles of elevation of the top of the pole are 24 degrees. Don't forget this one will be for A, while this one will be for B, and 37 degrees. So this is the top of the pole. For A, 24 degrees. Elevation means to angle to look up. So 24 degrees. For B, is 37 degrees. 37 degrees. Now, find the height of the pole. So we want to find the height of this pole. This P, that's only pole, height of the pole, H. Now, to find the height of the pole, we must identify how many triangles do we have here. We have two right angle triangles. When we have vertical and horizontal, we have a plus 90. So which means we have triangle P, B, C, and triangle P, A, C. If the distance between A and B is 43 meters, we don't need the distance that is here. Let's call it X. The distance that is between B and C. So distance between A and C will now be 43 plus X in meter. That is distance from A to C. Now, we have, three, we have two triangles here as we see. We have triangle P, B, C. So from triangle P, B, C, from Triangle P, B, C. When we have the triangle P, B, C, when you take it out, you're going to have something this way. So here we have X. We have H here. This is 37 degree. So we have B, P, and B here. Now let us label anywhere this angle 37 degrees facing is the opposite. Anywhere this boss nice is facing is your hypotenuse. So this is your adjacent. So our parameters, we have our opposites. Opposite equals to H. Hypotenuse, our adjacent rather, adjacent equals to X. Our angle theta is 37 degree. So from Soka Tua, the one that contains opposite and adjacent is Tua. So we have tan theta equals to opposite over adjacent, meaning tan, our theta is 37 degree, is equal to my opposite is h over x. For me, let's say over one here, cross multiply, we have h times one, h equals to x multiplied by the x tan 37 degree. We call this equation one. Now, we're able to get the height when we consider the triangle P, B, C. Then the other triangle we're going to consider is triangle P, A, C. That is the right angle triangle. So triangle P, A, C. Now, let's consider triangle P, A, C. That is the larger triangle. Here we have opposites. Where the boss is facing, hypotenuse, and we have our adjacent from this place. So now, also here, our opposites is equals to h, our adjacent is equals to 43, 
plus x, then our angle theta equals to 24 degree. So here, we are going to have tan theta equals to opposite over adjacent. So tan, my theta is 24 degree. My opposite, h over 43 plus x. What is the next thing is to cross multiply. Let's see over one here. h times one, we have h is equals to tan 24. So I want to multiply with this. I have to open brackets, 43 plus x, close the brackets. This is our equation two. Now, our equation one, h equals to s tan 37 degree. Equation two, h equals to tan 24 bracket 43 plus s in brackets. Now, since equation one and two, they are all equals to h, h. So we have to equate both of them together. Since they are all equal, this will be equal to this. Now, not to equate equation one and two, equation one and two, we must find the value of tan 37 degree. So h equals to x multiplied by tan 37 degree, 0 0.75. That is h equals to 0 0.7536x. So this is our equation one now. Now for equation two. H equals to 24 degree bracket 43 plus x. So we have what's our 24 degree? 24 degree is 0 0.4452 bracket 43 plus x. Let us multiply. Multiply this, what do we have? We multiply this, we have 19.14 plus 0.4452x. So this is our equation 2. Now, we're going to equate equation 1 and 2 together now. Meaning that 0.7536x is equals to 19.14 plus 0.4452x. Next thing is to collect like terms. Let me take this here. I have 0.7536x minus 0.4452x is equal to 19.14. Now, using our calculating machine to subtract, what do we have? So we're going to have 0.3084x is equal to 19.14. So the next thing is to get rid of this 0 0.3084 because we have to calculate the value of x. So we divide both sides by 0 0.3084. I have 0 0.3084x divided by 0 0.3084 is equal to 19.14 over 0 0.3084. This cancel this. So x equals to x equals to 62. 0.1 meter. So we are able to get the value of x. But what we are asked to get is to find the height of the pole, which is our h. So we can get the height of the pole by substituting the value of s into this equation one. So from equation one, from equation one, h is equals to x. So we can get it, this is equation one, 0 0.7536 x 0.7536 x that is 0.7536 multiplied by 62.1 so when we do it we are going to have we have 46.80 meter approximately 46.8 meter so this is the height of the pole example two a man 1.83 meter tall stands at a distance of 14.8 meter away from the base of the tower. He discovers that the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 63 degree. Calculate the height of the tower. Now, let's solve this. A man 1.8 meter tall. Let's assume this is the man. The height of this man is 1.8 meter. That's the height of the man. Stands at a distance 
14.8 meters away from the base of the toa. Let us assume as well, we have a toa this way. This man is standing 14.8 meters away from the base of the toa. So this is the toa. So away from the base of the toa. Is moved, so it has moved away. And this is 14.8 meters. Now, it observes the angle of elevation of the top of the tower as 63 degrees. You know that for elevation is to move up. There must be an horizontal distance, meaning that this man must have an horizontal distance like this. Then, observing the height of the tower to be 63 degrees. So the angle here is 63 degrees. Now, this is it. When we have vertical, we are going to have a box 90 here with the horizontal. Now, don't forget that if the height of the man here is 1.8, is 1.8, 1.83, 1 1.83 meter. And from this diagram, we have a rectangle now. The distance from here to here is 1.8. This space will also be 1.8. If the distance here is 14.8, this will also be 14.8. We are going to have 14.8 here. Now, our questions now. Calculate the height of the tower. We want to calculate the height of this tower each. The whole height like this is what we want. But one thing is, you cannot calculate the whole height unless we get this particular height. Don't forget, distance from here to here will also be 1.83 meter. So this distance here. So let's this distance here the x. So to now get the value of h, h is going to be the addition of everything, x plus 1.83. Now, let's take out our triangle like this. So this is x. This is 14.8 meter. The angle here is 63 degree. So I have here to be my opposite, my hypotenuse, and this is my adjacent. So from here, my opposite is equal to x, my adjacent, equal to 14.8 meter, my angle theta is 63 degree. From the soccer tour, you agreed with me that we're going to use two, huh? that is tan theta equals to opposite over adjacent. So tan, my theta is 63 degree, is equal to my opposite is x, my adjacent is 14.8 divided by 1. We cross multiply x times 1. We have x equals to 14.8 multiplied by tan 63 degree. So 14.8. Now let's look at our four figure table or our calculating machine to get the value for tan 63 degree. The value is 1.92. 1.9626. When we multiply it, we have 29.05. So the value of x is 29.05 meter. But what we want to calculate is the height of the pole. So h, which is the height of the pole, will equal to x plus 1.83 meter. That is my s is 29.05 plus 1.83 meter. So here, we are going to have 8, 8, 8, 0, 3. That is 30.88, which can be approximated to 30.9 meters. So that is the height of this pole. Now, this is one of the way of calculating distances and angle of elevation and depression. If you find values in this, kindly subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for my subsequent content. I meet you in the next class of the distance in angle of elevation and depression. Thank you.